Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name's Nicole and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my seven healthy habits for creating a healthy routine. These are things that I try to do every single day for a healthy, balanced lifestyle and I'm really excited to share them with you and hopefully get you inspired for just creating a healthy life for you guys in your own home. So I'm really excited because I'm actually working with Arm & Hammer who are sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I'm gonna be talking about their Essentials toothpaste line, why I love them, why I think you should make the switch from conventional toothpaste to one that is free of all of this nasty stuff that you don't really want in your toothpaste and putting into your body. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video and I shall share my seven healthy habits. So one of my first healthy habits is to plan your day. I like to sit down and set three personal goals and three work goals. So maybe you're not working right now, maybe you're a student and you can do three personal goals, three student goals. And it doesn't mean that you're not doing more things in the day, it just means these are the three priority must do things of the day that you want to get done. Cause a lot of times you might be kind of going from task to task and not really finishing anything or you're avoiding like the main thing that you need to be doing that day. So if you write them down, you can write them down in a notebook, you can put them on post-its and stick them to your mirror or your, uh, your computer, whatever you need to do to see them and know what your goal is to accomplish that day. So I'm gonna just write out my personal and my work goals and for the day today. And that is what I'm gonna try, not try, I'm gonna get done today. My next healthy habit is to treat your teeth just as good as you do your skincare. So this is my five minute oral care routine. As a new mom, I found it really hard to actually stay on top of my oral care. Um, number one, I got a newborn. She's always needing me, breastfeeding, all that stuff. But also I'm always eating. Uh, I feel like before I used to have a break where I wouldn't eat, now I'm eating in the middle of the night, I'm eating midnight snacks because breastfeeding makes you hungry all the time. And also I think everyone right now is just not going to the dentist as often because we're at home. So I think it's really important to take some extra time at home to brush your teeth and take care of your pearly whites because you only have one set. And something I've been doing, like I said, is just treating it like my skincare, giving myself five minutes every morning to brush my teeth and do all the things like floss, tongue scrape, oil pull, all the fun things. Um, I usually oil pull while I'm taking a shower, so it's like more than five minutes. Um, but I've really been loving the Arm & Hammer's Essentials toothpaste line. They have the whiten and strengthen one, the whiten and charcoal one, which is the one I've been using throughout my whole pregnancy. And then this is the new one, Healthy Teeth and Gums, which I have really sensitive gums, so these are great. And I've been loving and using the charcoal one it's my go-to. So I'm gonna actually brush my teeth right now since um, one of my tips is to do it before I eat breakfast. Cause otherwise I start drinking my smoothie and it's like two hours later by the time I finish it. And then I'm looking at the time and it's like, I don't know, after 12 and I think to myself, did I brush my teeth? The answer is usually no. So I've been back on it. I know it sounds weird. If you're a new mom, then you totally relate, but I'm gonna brush my teeth right now. I've already flossed and now I'm gonna take some time to brush them because you got to take care of your teeth. So if you guys are still using conventional toothpaste, I encourage you guys to make the swap. I love the Arm & Hammer Essentials toothpaste line because it is free of things like artificial sweeteners and dyes, preservatives, parabens, SLS, things that you do not want on in your toothpaste and then also in your mouth and in your body you can buy this at your local walmart and i just like that it's easy to find it works and it's free of all that stuff that i don't want in my toothpaste my next healthy habit is to stay hydrated i know everyone's heard it a million times but there's more ways to stay hydrated than just drinking water i know some people don't like water which my heart hurts for those people i just i love water so much i drink it all day and i'm always carrying a water bottle, it was just out of reach. I always have a water bottle with me or throughout the house. This reminds me to drink water. Also, a sippy top helps a lot too. 
It's like kids like to drink out of sippy cups, obviously for a good reason. You know, it's just easier. And um, if you just keep this with you all day, it makes it a lot easier. Other ways is obviously like herbal teas, things that don't have caffeine in it because caffeine is actually a diuretic. It pulls water out of your body and you're trying to stay hydrated and keep the water in. It's good for your skin, it's good for your nails, it's good for digestion, so many things. And I also think a lot of times we feel hungry but we're thirsty. So if you're like an over snacker, like <clears throat> Mr. Matt, um, maybe you're just really thirsty and you might wanna try water first before grabbing those big bag of chips. So what I'm making, one of my favorite ways to stay hydrated in the morning is a green smoothie. I've talked about it a million times. I call myself the green smoothie queen. I love them. And now with a baby, it's perfect. I can literally make a smoothie with one hand, drink it with one hand while baby sage is in the other arm and it's perfect. Um, usually Matt and I will, whoever is making the smoothie will make enough for the other person or you can just make enough for the next morning and do two breakfasts in one go. So it's really easy. You can put anything you want in it. I have a mixture of my, my favorites. I'm also gonna link some of my favorite smoothies down below and yeah, just blend up some fruits and vegetables, throw in some liquid and you got a drinkable breakfast that's really good for you and will help you stay hydrated. She's still sleeping? She is. Oh, my little angel. Oh, oh. hi, Sandy. She smells the smoothie. Yeah. Chess. She is. Who makes the better smoothie? We usually do a similar. I know, Matt just copies my eye. A, a lot of ginger in this one. Yeah, I know. Moon boosting. Mm -hmm. My next tip is digital detox. And I don't mean just like not looking at your phone all day or turning off your computer. I'm talking about like many things that you can do, um, like different times of the day where you notice you're always looking at your phone. That could mean in bed when you wake up, it could mean while you are waiting for something, the first thing you do is you look at your phone. For me, I noticed it was every time I was breastfeeding Sage, I was always on my phone and I actually felt like it affected my sleep. So I stopped that and instead I've been reading. So um, this is a great tip anyways, just to always have a book with you. If you're waiting in line for something, um, you can just pull out your book. An e-reader works really good too. <laughs> She's loud. And it just, it's crazy. I've already gotten through two books since having Sage and that's like a book a month so far, which is kind of crazy. Um, so it's really nice because I actually get to finish books that have been on my to read list for a while and it's relaxing. I'm not staring at my screen and it's just another nice healthy habit to be doing. Oh, okay, okay. My next healthy habit is to stay active. Every single day I make time, whether it's like a quick stretch, a walk outside with cashew, or I roll out my mat and I do like a 15 minute, maybe 30 minute flow if Sage sleeps long enough but I just wanna make sure I'm moving my body in some way. It's good for my mental health, it's good for my physical health, it makes you strong. It also just really helps release like stress and tension. So whatever way you like to move, make that a priority every single day and it doesn't have to be this like hour intense workout. It can be as simple as, you know, rolling out your mat, like I said, and doing some stretches while watching a movie and just kind of like multitasking. So I usually try to get my workouts in or like my stretches in while Sage is down for a nap, or I will just take Cashew out for a walk and we'll both get some fresh air. So if you have a doggy, you guys will both love a little walk around the neighborhood. So one of my new favorite things lately has been Pilates. So I'm gonna do a little Pilates flow right now on my mat in my office. I have some oils um, diffusing and I got the sunshine coming in. It's a really nice day today. So I'm gonna take full advantage and just look at the sky while I'm doing my flow. All right, let's get started. 
This next habit is all about getting in some rest and almost like hitting the reset button. So one thing I like to do, actually a couple things, I'll either try to get a little mini nap during the day if I didn't sleep all that night with baby Sage, or I'll even do things like meditate or use an acupressure mat, which is really nice. Even if I do it for like, five, 10, 15 minutes, it makes a huge difference. So whatever it is that you guys like to do just to rest and unwind, it could even be reading a book. If you've never done acupressure before, it's essentially like these little spikes that help increase blood flow and circulation, and they target different meridian points in the body and just really help melt away the stress. So this is something I did throughout my entire pregnancy. It really helped me with stress, anxiety, and especially sleep. To be honest, I would do this a lot at night. And now if I have a little break in, in between being a mom, I will come in here and just lay down, maybe put some essential oils on, I'll put some calming music and even while she's napping next to me, I will just lay on here and just like drift away and let the stress melt off my body. So I'm going to show you guys, I just take this pillow. This is also really great for headaches and I'm just going to lay this one together. This is good because it kind of sits underneath the neck. The best way to lay on it is actually just bare back. So I'm just going to take off this heavy sweater and I'm going to lay on it and it's just the most relaxing thing. You guys have to try it. I love this thing. <laughs> My next healthy habit is to not only meal prep, but meal plan and batch cook. So if I'm gonna make anything, like right now, I'm gonna be making my super fluffy everyday pancakes from my cookbook. This is an excellent, super easy, healthy pancake recipe. Here's the photo. Um, I'm gonna double batch them because if I have a second to make pancakes, you bet I'm gonna double batch them. And what I'd love to do with pancakes is once they cool down, I actually freeze them. I pop them into the freezer and then you just throw them or throw them, put them into the toaster the morning of and they're just like, you have instant pancakes. And then I really love for meal planning is to use some templates like this. So uh, we actually sell these on our shop. I'll link them below. So this here is a weekly meal plan. Um, Monday through Sunday, you can write in your meals, plan what you're gonna make for the week. I know it sounds so simple, but Matt and I have been doing this for the last month and we've been eating healthier, saving money, and there's less guesswork of what we're gonna make that night. It's so much easier. And then I also have this grocery list. So this one is a pre-filled out one. I also have a template where you can actually create your own depending on the groceries that you typically buy. And you can just, I actually just laminated mine. Um, you can use a washi marker and just check off what you need, take a photo with your phone when you go to the grocery store. Or what I like to do is just order my groceries online or for pickup. Matt goes and gets them and it just makes things so much easier. I'm actually planning on doing a full video on our meal planning system right now because it's been really working for us. Um, but first I'm gonna make some of my pancakes. So I have them for the week and they're just like a really nice, even though they're pancakes, they're a nice healthy treat to have for breakfast or for dinner because you can have pancakes whenever you want.
All right, that is it. Those are my seven healthy habits. Leave me a comment down below letting me know which one you are most excited to try. And also let me know one of your healthy habits. I would love to know. I would love to get some healthy inspiration this year. And a huge thank you again to Arm & Hammer for working with me on today's video. Be sure to shop the Arm & Hammer Essentials line by clicking the product links down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.